What's going on, people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another live stream, another live watch along today. Europa League action, Arsenal travelling to Ireland to face Dundalk. Um, not the most glamorous of games when you consider some of the games we've watched this week. Um, but again, hey, this is we are, you know where we are at the moment. We're Europa League side, Thursday night football FC. And uh, Manchester United will be joining us on a Thursday night. So, you know, although I won't laugh too much because, you know, we've got to make sure we don't lose to them, you know, because otherwise the joke's on us. Um, this video today is sponsored by the guys at One Football. Um, big up them. Great app. It's a free app. Link is in the description below. Uh, all the latest team news, really quick, up to date. Brilliant app. Um, and obviously with the transfers coming up for January, you're going to want notifications and that on your phone. So go and check them out. Go and download that. Would be much appreciated. Listen, Thursday night football, Arsenal against Dundalk. Um, a glamour tie on Thursday. And now, but listen, this is where we are right now. We're going to look at the team shortly. Um, I'm going to be complaining again. Yeah, I know. I'll be complaining again about Mikel Arteta and something he's done wrong. I won't give him too um, difficult a time, but when you see the lineup, you might see what my problem is. I'm sure a lot of you have um, have seen the team by now. Just in case you haven't, I'm going to bring it up and show you. Um, this is the team, and you will see my complaint here, what my problem is. This is the Arsenal team. Um, Callum Chambers is back. Good to see him. He's been out injured for a long time, and he's back. He's in the starting lineup. Um, this is his first competitive game since his injury. Um, so the team today, we've got Renarsson in goal, Chambers, Mustafi, Mari, and Cedric. So it looks like a back four. I mean, is that Callum Chambers at right back? I mean... Cedric at left back. I'm not sure. You just don't know. Maybe Pablo Mari plays left back with Cedric at right back. Midfield is El Nenny, Willock, and Maitland Niles, uh, and Smith Rowe with Pepe. They've lined it up on, on the TV as Pepe and Anketi are up front in a two um, with Smith Rowe and Maitland Niles out wide. I mean, I just don't, you don't know how true it is. It could be anything, this formation. Macy, Hines, Saka, Sabayos, Holding, Balogun, Cottrell and Aziz on the bench. For me, Aziz, Balogun, maybe even Matt Macy, them guys should be playing tonight. I know we want to win six out of six and have this perfect record. How is Balogun not getting a start tonight? How many more times do we need to see Eddie and Ketty a start to know what he's capable of and what his level is? Balogun, you know, let's face it, this could be a potential Serge Gnabry situation where we don't really use him and he goes and becomes a superstar. Now, don't get me wrong, on the flip side, he may not. He may be another, you know, Jeremy Ali Adier, where, you know, you're just a young player with talent, but you never really make it and you have to drop down. But why are we not giving this guy a chance? We're trying to convince him to give him a new contract. And the way Mikel Arteta is convincing him is by not starting him. Absolute ludicrous for me how um, Balogun is not starting this game. What do you guys think about this team? Um, big up everyone in the comments. Big up Jay Torres. He says, Bellerin should be playing in these kind of games. Listen, when you can't throw the ball, mate, chuck him in. Big up Musa 10. He says, big up Curtis. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, Ebby Vander always supporting. He says, big C. Yes, G. Kevin Kelly said, not saw the Graham collab. We'll check it out. Yeah, go and check that out. Had uh, managed to get Graham on the show. He hasn't been doing shows. Obviously, he's had a very difficult time during lockdown. And uh, he did come on. And I really appreciate him coming on. We did it. It was only about 45 minutes. We had to cut it short because, uh, you know, he had to leave. But he has said he will come on again in the future. I will try and get him on quite often, depending on his availability, because... You know, it was really good, a good breakdown of tactics and things like that. So big up, Graham. Go and check that show out. Um, Ted Watts, big up, Big C. So good to see you and Graham together earlier on today. Listen, you know, we, it was long overdue. I haven't done a show with him yet, and we, we've spoken a lot about football. So it was good to do that. And worry about nothing, said Evening G. Hit the like button, people. Bless up, bro. Reed says, great collab with Graham. Good to see him back. Thank you very much, bro. Kevin said, it's a shame Balogun's not starting. I think Curtis is a better player than Curtis. Well, one of the Curtis has got to be better. <laughs> Hopefully you're saying Curtis better than Eddie and Ketty. Listen, I'll give him a run for his money, man. 
Um, big up the chat, says the real captain. AFC 123, finally time to see some proper football being played. Listen, Arsenal fans right now, we have to cling on to this Thursday night football, man. This is the only time we smile and have a laugh and see a few goals scored. So I have to really make the most of this. Josh Hunter says, big up Curtis. I appreciate that. Musa says, Graham has really good thoughts on opinions. Lots of respect for him. Yeah, 100%. One football app has us playing a back three of Mustafi, Mari and Chambers. Ah, there you go. Well, they better be right. Especially if I'm uh, asking you guys to download the app. Let's see if they're right. Three at the back. Mustafi, Mari and Chambers. Yeah, maybe with, with Ainsley and Cedric at wing back. Possibly. Big up Jay Torres. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Appreciate your support. He said, what's up, Big C? If there was ever a game to play the young lads, it's this one. Shaking my head. If Arteta, is Arteta ever going to learn? You said it, bro. You know, why is he not playing this game? If you're not going to play a youngster against Dundalk, you've already won the group, you know. Dundalk are probably the weakest team in this group. You know, why can't he play in this game? Why does Eddie always have to start? I don't get it. Um, so, yeah, you're right there, bruv. Uh, Thursday's the only day I bust a smile, yeah, in terms of Arsenal for certain, bruv. Uh, I would have a front three of Martinelli, Saka and Pepe in the future. I'd, yeah, so you would you go Martinelli through the middle with Saka left, Pepe on the right. Yes, Curtis OG, triple OG, yeah, big up the infamous mob. Great picture, man, Friday, one of the best films ever. Good evening, Big C. Have you been to Ireland? I have. Very nice place. I had a good time there. I went there on a football tour about seven or eight years. No, maybe about eight years ago. Nine years ago, eight or nine years ago. Yeah, I had a great time over there, man. I had a very good time. Played football, went shopping, had a night out. It was good. Very nice place. Some quality Guinness over there. You know, Jamaican people love the Guinness as well. So I had that connection straight away. Uh, Anthony Williams says, congratulations on all the new subscribers, bro. Proud of you, man. Big love. Respect, Anthony, man. Really appreciate that. Big up all you guys. Listen, whether you've been subscribing from day one or you've just subscribed today, the support is appreciated. And you know what? We're well on our way to 20K, man. 18,600. I reckon in another couple of weeks, we can hit that 20K for Christmas. Final score prediction. I'm going to go 3-0. I would like to see us keep a clean sheet today. That's for sure. What's your score predictions? Who do you think will score? I think Pepe will score again. Hopefully Balogun at least gets 20, 30 minutes. Even give him a half, you know. Um, good to see Smith Rowe playing. That's for certain. Uh, Gabriel says Saliba not even on the bench. Bro, he's not registered. He can't even play in this competition. Um, which is crazy, man. A uh, great Graham show. Good to see him back. Yeah, great, man. He's, he knows his football, man. Seriously, he does. Uh, don't know, Curtis, especially that Guinness punch. Yo, you know, man, that Guinness punch is it's authentic over there as well. Some proper Guinness. Uh, Gwen Doozy's back. Said, evening, Curtis. Just finished my tactical session with my manager. Hope I come back in January when Mikel gets sacked. <laughs> Jeez, Gwen Doozy, man. He would probably get in this Arsenal team. That's the crazy thing about it. Moose said, Curtis, I read a report this morning. Arteta has three games to save his job. It said that we don't, if we don't pick up results in the next few games, Edu will pull the trigger on Arteta and Allegri is the first target. I'd be happy with that. Dupe in the group, Mustafi. I mean, is Mustafi wearing the armband tonight? That's what I want to know because he doesn't deserve it. Thursday's when uh, we're not depressed from Arsenal. It's true. Thursday, we can enjoy it. Who would you like in the next round? You know what? For some reason, I want us to play Olympiacos. I want us. I know it sounds crazy because we lost to them last year. Why would you want to play them? I just want to get that, you know, get that little thing that they beat us last year. I want to knock them out. But, you know, could I trust Arsenal to beat them, especially the way we're playing? So, yeah, um, I don't expect us to get a monster draw at this stage. Uh, Beanie Man said, watching from Ethiopia, big fun off you, Curtis. Respect, bro. Scottish Gunner says, Big C, do you think um, we didn't go for a top manager because the board had to pay Emery off and couldn't afford wages for him and a new top man? Possibly. Possibly, because Emery would have been on decent money um, and, you know, they have to pay him off. So maybe they were short of cash in January. That's a good point. I never really thought about that. Is Pepe available in the Prem after this game or one game left of the ban? Yeah, he is banned for another game. Unfortunately, he will miss the 
um, Burnley game on the weekend. So that's disappointing. We do play Southampton next Wednesday at the Emirates. He will be available. Uh, I want Olympiacos as well. I want the revenge. Yeah, man. Daniel said Olympiacos will slap us again, bro. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I feel like we'd beat them this year. Um, I don't know why, because it's not like we're playing well. Ebby Vander said, yeah, Olympiacos was big time. Definitely. Uh, Paolo Rossi passed away. Italian legend. Um, another very famous footballer. Infamous Mob said, Curtis, thoughts on my new in Europa League with us? Listen, bro, my initial reaction was to laugh. You know, I messaged a few of my Man United friends. Oh, Thursday night football. But then I had to kind of fall back and go, hang on. You know, they're coming into the competition with us. Do I really want us to play Man United over two legs? Not really. I know we did beat them the other week, but, you know, I would rather play other teams. I see Mourinho today saying, you know, he wants um, that Champions League third spot to be wiped out as a Europa League spot. And I kind of agree. I don't think, I don't think when you get kicked out of a competition, you should be able to go into another one. You should just be out of Europe. And Raul said, Arteta is a cup competition manager. Well, yeah, in some cups, FA Cup. Mustafi with the armband, don't mess about. You know, I haven't even... Oh, listen, listen. No, 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 no. How on earth is Mustafi wearing the armband? The guy has rejected a new contract. He's been rubbish since he's been here. He's going to walk away on a free in the summer. And we're giving him the armband. Come off it, man, please. Absolutely madness. That the, See, these are the decisions for me where I question the manager. Why are you giving him the... He's lucky that he's even playing. You know? Armband, is he our leader, yeah? Come on. No way should he have the armband, man. Fuming about that. It's a, it's a joke. Mustafi captain. Mustafi doesn't deserve the shirt. He doesn't. He doesn't. I wouldn't even play him. If I had other options, I would, I would have played Aziz. This is what I'm saying. Give the young lad a chance. I don't want to see Mustafi playing, let alone wearing the armband. Jeez. Um, as I said, uh, BT Sport, I do watch it through the app. So you guys may be um, a few seconds ahead of me. So if anything goes off, feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, Mustafi, the captain. Man. Yeah, man, like Arteta, that's his captain, man, not mine. Not my captain. Trusting Mustafi and not Saliba doesn't make any sense. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. I want to say Captain Pugwash. <laughs> Bro, it makes us look a laughing stock, you know. This guy, not only is he a poor player, he doesn't even want to be there, you know. He wants to just walk out, get his big signing on fee somewhere else, and we're making the man captain. Why? Doesn't need to have the armband. Doesn't even deserve the armband. So, you know, crazy. But Mikel Arteta and crazy decisions. Bavs, what are you saying, bro? No live stream. Man, man couldn't... Man couldn't get the live stream out for this game, you know. I don't blame you. This one's going to take a lot of energy still. Big up Babs, man. Everyone go and subscribe to Babs channel. Uh, Babs 14. He's just hit 30k as well. Big up Babs. Very good channel. I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you, man. Part of me didn't want to stream it myself, but you know, got to do what you got to do. I'd rather have Robbie in the... <laughs> I'd rather have Robbie in defence than Mustafi as well, for real. Physical presence, man. Strength and power. What's... Mustafi, man. This guy's a clown, bro. I'd rather have Megan Fox as captain than Mustafi, for real, man. Um, interesting that we've gone back to 3-4-3 against this team. Clearly, we don't have the players for a back four without Partey. I think... Mm, do you think you'll see Arteta revert back to three at the back now? Because let's be honest, it hasn't worked going to the four. As much as I wanted us to go to the four, I think we can only get away with four at the back if if uh, part a is part of that midfield. So, you know, all this Xhaka and Torreira, not Torreira, Xhaka and um, Ceballos business, it just doesn't work. Eddie and Ketty, are they a half-decent chance? 
Arteta upsetting everyone, bro. Listen. Here we are, four on two. Eddie. Oh. Eddie winding me up already, man. What's he doing? Eddie's not ready, man. They said he was the new Ian Wright, but as you lot said, he's, he's Ian wrong. And said, no, nah, work clash. I couldn't be arsed there. I don't blame you, man. Serious. Rather have gone a Yeah, for real. Thoughts on Jack Grealish? Uh, legend. If you've seen the news about Grealish, then you know, man. It, it, listen, <laughs> if I didn't want us to sign Jack Grealish anyway, man, just, just put the 80 million bid in now. Just spend the whole budget on him. That guy, man, that guy. He's a proper, he's a proper lad, isn't he, Grealish? Is Kieran Tierney on? No, he's not involved. I believe he's not even in the squad. At least David Luiz is okay for captain's armband. Yeah, for real. I mean, I wonder when David Luiz is back with this head injury. Smash the likes, peeps. Yeah, man. We got rid of Torreira and kept Xhaka. It's crazy, isn't it? Because Xhaka is just... Xhaka, for me, honestly, I think he's he's pro he might be the worst centre midfielder at the club. I honestly can't... I just don't like him as a player at all. Do not like him. One of the worst signings ever at 35 million. Possibly the worst centre mid we've ever signed when you consider the price tag. Q&A time. Yo, the Q&A is around the corner. Seriously, man, this game is going to be hard work. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Ian wrong, you know. Wrongy, you know. Not even right. A man are calling him wrongy. Yeah, bless up, man. Feel free to get the questions in. We're only seven minutes into the game. It already looks like a bore fest. i got to be honest. I just want to see Pepe score. A couple of these, man, bag. Smith Rowe would be good if he could score. Um, Arsenal is so much of a joke. They might not even beat these. Hey, don't worry, man. We'll beat these, man. Don't get on your high horse, Villa fan, man. You lot was in the championship about two years ago. United will replace Pogba with Grealish. You could see that happening. I know Grealish plays a slightly different role, but you can see Grealish ending up at a United, a City, a Chelsea. Someone's going to pay a lot of money for him. Um, at least Torreira can press that high energy football. Torreira, you know, he look he actually might have suited this system, but Arteta never seemed interested in him. Uh, what do you think of signing Pogba in January? I wish, bro. I'd love to have Pogba at Arsenal. You know, there's no way we, he would come to us, even though he did say he was an Arsenal fan as a kid. Madness when we nah, we won't lose this, mate. Don't worry. Uh, Xhaka is the worst midfielder in the top eight Prem sides. Is he the worst in the top eight? Who is worse than him? He's, def he's definitely um, he's definitely up there. I think he's the worst at Arsenal anyway. Curtis, would you come to the US if Arsenal came on tour? I would now, you know. Yeah, I would. Now I'd probably um, be in a position to do it. I'd love it. Let's hope, you know, next um, pre-season we're able to go on tour. Um, because I know usually they kind of rotate it. We went to America two years ago. Last year, we would have probably gone to maybe Australia and, you know, um, and maybe China and those sort of places. So maybe this year they will go to America. Yeah, I would love to go on tour with Arsenal. Um, let's see if they can go anywhere. He's the worst in the league. Eddie is so selfish and painfully average. I can't say I disagree with the the average shout. You know, you know my opinions on Eddie. I just don't. I don't see what it is with him. I don't see what's so good about him. Why is Smith Rowe on the left? You tell me, bro. He's on the ball now. You know, I would love to see him in that ten roll. Oh, there's a chance. Thoughts on Eddie? Nah, Ed Eddie for me. January, I'd be loaning him out. You know, I just don't think he's up to it, man. I think um I think I would I would let him go on loan. And if someone came in with a decent offer for him in the summer, I'd consider it. Depending on how he did on loan. If he went on loan and banged loads of goals in, then maybe you keep him around. But for me, he's not good enough. Why is Balogun not playing? I don't get this manager, bro. I'm I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled why um Balogun isn't starting this game. You know, how can you be in negotiations trying to agree a contract with him? 
and you're giving him no football, you know. These are games where he he's fine. You can start him in this game. I believe he would do well in this game. You know, he keeps bigging up Balogun in press conferences and then benches him. This is what I'm saying about Artel. Don't speak about it, bruv. Be about it, you know. If Eddie plays for Arsenal, anything can happen. I can even become Santa Claus. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. You never know. In the in the spirit of uh, festivity, man, maybe you can become Santa Claus. Wenger never wanted to come to the US. I mean, why was that? I don't get that. Um, it's a big market for Arsenal fans. There's a massive Arsenal fan base in the US. Arteta is a proper clown. Curtis, once Mikel was in the... <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Uh, slow start. When, when is it not a slow start, man? Eddie should be sold, not Arsenal standard. I, I just don't rate him. Fringpong was way better than Xhaka. Dench mode Fringpong, you know. I've tried to get him on the channel a couple of times, actually. I think he will come on at some stage. Man, like Fringpong. Unfortunately, Arteta is out of debt for his rebuild. We, there is a supporters club coming out. I believe it's coming out tomorrow. Don't quote me on that, but I heard it was coming out tomorrow where on AFTV we debated Arteta in or out. And for me, look, I, I don't... I wanted stability at the football club. I don't want us to become that club that sacks the manager on a frequent basis. But at the same time, you can't be afraid of change in football. Maybe the plan was to keep him there for four or five years, but it's going drastically wrong. And I think, you know, there are managers out there, Allegri, Poch, these guys are available. So I think to give him the transfer window in January, unless things turn around quickly, but I, I can't see it. You know, I, I think he's out of his depth. The football is terrible. Um, but you never know. You never know. Things can change quickly. Beat Burnley, beat Southampton. Maybe we can turn things around. For me, has to take six points from those next two games, two home games. Cy Tyson says, big up, Kurt. It's really been enjoying your streams recently. Keep up the great work. We all appreciate them. Thank you very much, bruv. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll keep up with the, the collaborations daily, um, usually at two o'clock. I'll have the odd day off. Um, but yeah, most days I will be um I will be doing that. Fringpon was a beast, weights up Sadorf one game. Fringpon was strong, bruv. Very strong. What happened to Bully from AFTV? I got no idea, bruv. Honestly, I haven't seen him on there for years. Um we need to play Renarsen in every match as he is world class. I, I don't I think you must be on the wind up, bruv. I don't think so. 1-0. 1-0, everyone's saying. Eddie has scored, yeah? Okay. I've just seen the goal. It's a good finish. Big up Eddie, man. There you go. He heard the criticism. Is he going to do the phone me celebration? Nah, he ain't calling no one today. He must have run out of credit. Big up Eddie, man. He needed that goal as well, you know. Well done, Eddie, man. Well done. Whether I criticise you or not, that's the way to keep people quiet. Score goals 1-0. Good pressing, block the defender, little chip. It's a good finish. Good finish, Eddie, man. Well done. Man is saying own goal. I thought it went in before he got there. Bouncers. Ooh, it's close. I think they've got to give that to Eddie, man. Yeah, I reckon it's Eddie's goal. I reckon that just about went in, man. Uh, Mr. Press, yeah, well done. The problem is now, I'll probably start against Burnley now. You know what I mean? He'll Arteta will get carried away and drop a bammy. <laughs> oh, dear. Eddie's phone ran out of credit. I'm telling you, man. I was waiting for that man said, no, nah, I can't phone no one now, nah, bro. I'm done. I can't phone anyone. Um, Darren says, Curtis, respect to you. Appreciate that, bro. Um, do you think Eddie uh, will play less now that Martinelli is coming back? Mm, the thing is, it depends where... It depends where Arteta sees Martinelli playing. Does he see him on that left or does he see him as a central striker? I think Martinelli will become a striker at Arsenal eventually, you know. Um, so I'd be looking to play him <laughs> and said, Eddie's phone is pay as you go. No contract. Contract luck off, man. Man's on. Man's putting five pound top ups on, you know. Certain times he's got no credit. Speaking of credit, Ted says credit where credit is due. 
Good play on words there. I see what you did, man. Ebi said, Chelsea sack managers every year. That's ambition. If you don't deliver, you're gone. That's how a proper club is run. I get you. I mean, I, I read something that Chelsea are, Chelsea are one of the most successful clubs in the last 15 or 16 years. And I believe they've had the most managers out of the top six in England. So it's worked for them. It has worked. Uh, Max Carroll says, yo, I'm back, bro. Yo, long time I ain't seen you on the channel, bro. I've commenting in that. Big up. Eddie is now a top scorer in all competition. Wow. Uh, yes, there is a huge Gunners fan base in the USA. Here in the US, we love Arsenal, New Jersey since 1993. Big up, man. Listen, if uh, if Arsenal can get on tour to the States, man, I would love to get over there and, um, and see how it is. You know, I've heard, I've, I speak to a few American Arsenal fans, man, and they tell me how it is. You know, I know Rob, he's been over there um, a few times and he says they're really, really big Arsenal fans over there and there's a massive fan base, man. So I would love to get over there. Um, but let's see where Arsenal decide to go on tour in the summer. Uh, apparently this is Dundalk's last game. I don't know. Is their season finished? I don't know how it works. Arsenal is big in Africa and in the USA. Bro, Arsenal are a massive club, mate, worldwide, all over the place. Do you think London is still red, honestly? Um, yeah, it is. Don't get me wrong, there has been a slight um, shift in the energy, but, you know, until they win trophies, they can't say they've overtaken us, man. I've I got to be honest. Are they better than us on the pitch right now? Yeah, you have to say so. Hey, big up my bro, Francis Green. Go and check out his channel, Forever Football with Francis Green, former professional footballer, good friend of mine uh, who's just started a YouTube channel, knows his stuff. Go and check that out. I will have him on a, on the show soon as well. Maybe we'll do something on your channel as well. Big up your son today as well. Happy birthday, Lauren, man. Big up. Um, birthday blessings to the little man. Great finish from Anketi. I wish Balogun started. Good to see Smith Rowe and Chambers in. Big up Curtis. Respect, bro. Uh, Kurt, we should go on a YouTube tour next summer, lads, business trip. I'm on it, bruv. Listen, you know, let's go abroad, go do some work, man. This YouTube game is worldwide, bruv. American fans, let me know. Let me and Curtis know if this is interest. Listen, if people, if we can make connections, you know, and people have got, you know, these places where there's massive Arsenal fan bases and, you know, we can maybe go on to... Listen, when Arsenal... I think Arsenal will release tour details. Usually they do it in about January, February, I think. But because of all this COVID situation, I don't know how early they're going to do it. So, you know, we'll look at it. If they go to America on tour this summer, I'm more than happy to go to America and go and watch Arsenal on tour. And Franny, if you, you want to come, we'll do some work over there, go and link up. You know, I know um, Robbie links up with some American gooners in LA. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Let's see where Arsenal go in the summer. Um, do you think Arteta will play Martinelli? Uh, listen, he didn't play him that much before he got injured. And that's my worry at the end of the day. He, he wasn't playing him before. But, listen, the club gave him a five-year contract. So, so surely they're going to have to back him um, to play him. You don't give someone a five-year contract. You've got no intention of playing them. Um, Curtis, please can can you please say <laughs> he's my bro? Nah, 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 allow that, allow that, bro. Uh, I'm in the DC area in the US, and I'm in 100. percent Yeah, man. Listen, we'll we'll make connections over there, and um, if things are happening, then we'll come over. Wow, two nil. Just I'm just seeing it now. El Nenny, I think I'm about seven or eight seconds behind you guys. Oh, my God. What a goal that is. Oh, wow. El Messi is back in full effect. Mohamed El Messi. What a strike. See what happens when you actually shoot. You see that Tottenham game? You know how many times I was saying, just shoot, man. Stop putting crosses in shoot. That is an absolutely... That's the best goal I've seen El Nenny score. Although, actually, he scored the halfway line against MK Dons. Oh, man, that gets better every time I see it. What a goal. 
Oh, what a strike, son. That is top bins. I oh, keeper, don't die for that. You don't save them. What a goal. El Nenny and Enketi with the goals, man. El Pirlo. Yeah, what a strike. Fantastic goal. I rate that, man. Man, I have to shoot. 2 0 up in the first half. I said 3 0. I think we're going to score more, man. You know? Versus Barca or AC. As El Nenny's playing tonight, um, you think Xhaka is playing against Burnley? More than likely, bro. More than likely. Uh, I'm in Philadelphia. Arsenal, f Arsenal following here is very big, and I'm a Man United fan. Ah, that's what I mean. So it's good. Yeah, I need to need to know these things. You know, where are Arsenal? Where have they got big fan bases in America, in Africa? You know, I would I would love to you know go on a tour, go to some countries, do some work. Um, but we'll see. As I said, we'll see where Arsenal announce where they're going on tour um, in the summer, and then you know I'll try and put some plans in place. Is that the first goal we've scored from outside the box in a few years? Do you know what? Because I'm thinking about that now. When's the last time we scored from outside the box? It would have been Europa League again, Lacazette. But I'm thinking in the Premier League, have we scored from outside the box this season? You know, because I'm thinking the Fulham game, Aubameyang was inside the box. Gabriel was inside the box. Who scored the other goal, was it? Gabriel scored that one. I'm telling you, we might not have scored from outside the box. Let me check. In the Premier League, have we scored from outside the box this season? That is the question. So Fulham was... Fulham was 3-0. Lacazette, Gabriel, Aubameyang, all in the box. We scored. We beat West Ham. Lacazette and Ketty. I'm sure Nketiah's was in the box. Lacazette's was a header. Um, Liverpool was Lacazette. I think that was in the box. Miss hit. Sheffield United was Saka and Pepe. Mm, interesting. Let me. I, I'm not sure if we've scored from outside the box in the Premier League this season. It'll be interesting. Pepe free kick last season. I mean, that's crazy. We just don't shoot. We do not shoot from outside the box. We're lacking goals. You can't start Xhaka ahead of El Nenny after that unless you're a complete Arteta hole. Bro, listen. He will start him. He will start Xhaka at the weekend. He won't he won't have any blame on Xhaka for that performance at the weekend, you know, against Tottenham when he was horrendous. Community Shield, Aubameyang versus Liverpool. It's crazy. I know, I know, obviously, oh, no, don't, don't. No, we have, haven't we? We've gone and conceded. <sighs> Please, man. We got some dirty sheets, man. We can't keep the sheets clean at this club. How on earth are we conceding against these? I'm just watching it. They're actually bopping as well. Look at, look at that. Oh, man. Come on. First thing I'm thinking, should Renarsson save that? How are we conceding against these, man? Like, what? Are... We've got an experienced defence playing. Look, nutmegs. No one tracking their runner. No one tracking him. Keeper, come on. Am I being harsh? Should Renarsson save that? I'm telling you something. Leno, he can't get injured this season. That's a good finish, but tra no one tracking runners. I'm sorry, but I think renarsson has got to save that. We we have to wrap Leno. Someone just said it there. Pray Leno doesn't get injured. Daryl, you're right. Renarsson, do you know how big of a downgrade Renarsson is on Emmy Martinez? You can't you shouldn't be conceding in goals that. Are people saying harsh? People are saying I'm being harsh. To me, the angle that that goes in from, and he gets fingertips on it, he's got to tip that wide for me. Maybe I'm being really harsh, but that's poor, man. We should not be conceding against teams like this, man. Shocking. Absolutely poor, man. Uh, we paid 1.5 mil for this guy. What do we expect? I don't know. You're right. We did pay 1.5 mil. Maybe that's what you get. But I expect better than that. 
Leno has been poor too. I think he's been average this season as well. But he's better than Ren Arson. That's the thing. And, uh, you know, maybe Leno would look better if we were defending better. Uh, we will have to get two more. You know, if we win this game 2-1, I actually think we'd get criticised. I think people would say, what? 2-1 against Dundalk? With the amount of experience we've got on the pitch, you know, I think we genuinely have to win this like 4 or 5-1 to get any kind of credit whatsoever. You know, and, and we want to see a couple of decent goals. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, yo, but who said that again? It was deluded, didn't it? Man said we got a year seven in goal, playing against the year 11s, man. He can't handle the shot pile. Um, He probably thought it would be near post. I mean, he can't gamble. Surely he can react quicker than that. Goal kick to Dundalk, 2-1. I, um, I don't rate this run arson at all, I have to admit. Big C, they scored from a nice work goal. We scored from their defending mistake and a random long shot. We're not creating against these poor from the team. You're not lying, bro. I mean, don't get me wrong, a goal's a goal. But I hear what you're saying. They've actually worked a goal from a good move. Get what you pay for, 25 mil for a key, 25 mil keeper for a 2 million keeper. Emmy for um, Renarsson. Big downgrade, man. Q&A time after 3-1. All right, when we get to 3-1, we start the Q&A. It better go 3-1, not 2-1. That's the problem. Oh, no, are you lot bantering? Are you bantering? People are saying, no, no, no. I think people are, I think people are on the wind-up. Some people were saying 2-1 then. See, this is what this 5-10 second delay does to me, man. Smith Rowe has to play in the Prem for me. He should definitely be involved, you know? Get these guys on the bench at least. Uh, Marcus Magic said, listen, I'm a Spurs man, but enjoy your content and level-headed approach. Great show earlier with Graham. I appreciate that. Really appreciate that, um, even though you're Spurs. But listen, this is an open channel. This is for all football fans, man. It isn't a um, isn't purely, purely Arsenal. He's got to save that. Yeah. I mean, do you see how easy the players didn't track their runners? Just letting people run off them. Poor, poor, poor play. And yeah, for me, top goalkeepers save that. Uh, I don't trust Arteta to develop the potential of Saka and Martinelli. I agree. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't look like he favours the young players. You know, there's no need for Mustafi to be playing in this game. You know, whatsoever. Play as easy. You know, play Balogun. You know, he just he sticks with the same players. Samuel Reid said, big up, Curtis. The team is an absolute shambles right now. Eddie, top scorer with five. Um, any team we play against can score so easy. Um, what is this? We are Arsenal. Yeah, I agree. We're, we're light work to score against. What do you make of the news about Arteta having three games to go and Max Allegri coming in? Surely he wouldn't come to this club. Listen. I think if you offer Max Allegri enough wages, he comes. I saw an interview with Allegri in the week where he was talking about he either wants to manage in Italy or in England. And he was talking about it's difficult to get a job in Italy at the moment because none of the top clubs are, are even looking at moving the managers on. So he said, yeah, maybe England. He said he's been learning English for a while. He's studied the Premier League. It would be um, it would be an upgrade on Arteta for me for sure. Um, the pitch is very muddy. It doesn't look. I mean, obviously, as you can see with the the lines on the plit on the pitch, they use it for cricket, not cricket. Sorry, um, rugby. They use it for rugby as well. So the pitch is all got lines on it. it looks quite muddy. It looks quite, you know. So it's not in good. It's not in good condition. If that's true, bro, we should sack our tetan arm. Listen, Allegri's waiting. Allegri said he wanted one year out of management. That ended in the summer. Um, he didn't get offered a job because no real big job came up in the summer, I think, where he was linked with. So he's waiting. He said he's actually waiting. So 
Um, I think we have to we have to look at it with an open mind if Allegri is out there and available. Honestly, I'm not confident that we'll beat Burnley at the weekend. Um, I think Burnley are very difficult to play against. You know how Sean Dyche is going to set up. He's going to put 10 men behind the ball. They'll try and score from a set piece. They'll use the likes of Chris Wood and, and them guys. Very difficult to defend against. And you and you know that um, you know we're not great defensively from set pieces. So it will be a difficult game. Yeah, Moosey, you told me, man. Listen, I I did see it um, on Twitter. I wasn't sure how genuine it was, but listen, you can understand it. Uh, first time I've seen the show early with Graham. I like the calm, thoughtful and considered content. So much so I came back for the live talk along. Cheers. Good job. Thank you very much. Appreciate you tuning in. Um, listen, as I said, I appreciate everyone who supports the channel, whether you've just subscribed today or whether you've been on from day one. Um, let's hope I can get to that 20K by Christmas. I believe we can. We need 1,400 more. I reckon we can do it. But if you haven't already, go and check out the show at some point that I did um, at 2 o'clock today with Graham. It was a great little tactical insight. Arteta has refused to play M Martinelli before he was injured. He did. He did. He wasn't picking him. Uh, I'm not sure that five-year contract came from Arteta. I think that might have come from Edu. You know, um, but let's see. Uh, Yen says, Curtis, I actually agree with you in sacking Arteta, but only if the right replacement is coming in. If not, then stick with Mikel. Now, listen, I agree with that 100%. And I made this clear as well that I said, look, if they're not bringing in a top manager then just leave him there and see what we can do. But if you can, if you speak to Allegri now and Allegri says, you know what, I'll take the job now, I would get rid of Artel. I would sack him. I wouldn't give him the January transfer window um, to go and spend more money and then you have to get more players out when a new manager comes in because honestly, I do not think at this rate Artel will finish the season unless the board completely bottle it. Uh, 300 in the chat. Hit the like, please, guys. Yeah, smash that like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys um, interacting. Adam says, but we're home with fans, Curtis. Think of how good we were playing in Europa with fans. We're good in the Europa. Um, but, you know, it's, it's you know, you got to look at it. Last year, we lost to Olympiacos with this manager in charge. So he's still got a lot to prove in this competition. Uh, big old Am Wesh with the super chat. He said these young players will leave if they don't get chances. Pepe having a stinker. Um, uh, Smith Rowe and Nelson will be starters for any Premier League club outside the top four. I think they would definitely be involved. Starting, not definitely, but I think I think they would definitely be in you know in the squad on a match day. Would you not take Ian Wright, Henri, etc.? It's difficult because. You would love to. Everything emotionally says you would want to bring in someone like Omri. But, you know, I heard about Omri's management when he was at Monaco and I just don't think that would work, man. He was squaring up to players. You know, he was calling man out, dissing them in the, in the interviews. It's not going to work, man. I think he's such a perfectionist. He can't deal with these, these you know, substandard players. If Allegri comes, what formation? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I know he has played five at the back as well and four at the back, so it depends. But just get more out of them than this. Um, yeah, I agree, Curtis. I've been Arteta out since 1-0 at home to Leicester. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know what? I don't know what game it was, actually, where I kind of said, that's enough. Um, Curtis, I remember you saying you want Arteta out versus Brighton. Was it Brighton? Wow. It's time to go, yeah. Like, listen, for me, he's hanging by a thread. I, I would have got, I would have moved him on. I think his man management skills are just, are just not good enough. Um, as well as his coaching, Ian Wright would be good. He'd be like, we need to sign this guy. The thing is, it's a lot more complex than that, isn't it? Can he coach? You know, can he inspire players? Can he attract players? Uh, we will be seeing United soon in Europa. Listen, I've no doubt we'll end up playing Man United in the Europa League at some stage. You can just see it, you know. Um, that's why I didn't want to rip into him too much. 
Peng, uh, Guna says, Villa 3-0 done it for me. I think that was, that might have been the game, actually. Someone said that earlier, Aston Villa. That 3-0, yeah, I think that's when I got the cones at. I was losing my head. Allegri defensive, yeah. People do say he's very defensive, but I don't know. Right, he's not a manager who will tarnish his legacy. I can't believe, you know, that Ian Wright doesn't have a statue at Arsenal. Seriously, I, I honestly don't get why he hasn't he hasn't got a statue. To me, he's one of the best strikers we've ever had at Arsenal, Ian Wright. Genuinely don't get that. Paul Shepard says, big up, Curtis. Great show. Calm and collected and very incisive. No one's mentioning Conte. Would you, would you take Conte at Arsenal to replace Arteta? I rate him. I would. I rate Antonio Conte very, very highly. I think he's a fantastic manager. Um, in fact, I would go as far as to say, um, I think, do you know what? I think his Juventus team, I liked more than Allegri's in a way. I, I just think, I don't know. I don't know. I like Conte. I would take Conte, definitely. Definitely. Um, and there was rumours about Conte leaving in the summer. Inter Milan were knocked out of Europe last night. They're not even in the Europa League. So their board must be getting on to it. Um, you know, there's unrest there. Apparently, you know, they're trying to get rid of Ericsson, obviously, in, in January. Yeah, Antonio Conte is a great shot. I would definitely take him. Conte, yeah, as you said, Conte is a great shot. And I think Conte would leave. Um, he hasn't been happy with things there for a while. Um, there was rumblings of him leaving in the summer if he wasn't given adequate transfer funds. Um, he, he's been moaning about the board and certain players. I think Conte would leave. We'd have to make him a good offer. I mean, look, I'm looking at the Syria table. Mm, Inter are second, though. That's the only thing. So maybe you'd need a little wobble from them in the league. Then you'd get him. Conte is a very good coach. Would you take Sarri? Would I take Sarri at Arsenal? He definitely would not be my choice. You know, I, there, there's a few I would pick before Sarri, man. I just think he struggled with communication. He lacked personality a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be inspired by Sarri getting the job. I have to admit, I have to admit, I'd be looking at Conte, Allegri, someone like that. Would you take Poch? You know, would you take Poch or does the does the Tottenham situation bother you? I just don't think Poch would get the time, you know. I think if he had two or three bad games, the whole Tottenham thing would come to the surface. You know how the Arsenal fan base is. They're very impatient. I don't think I don't think they would give Poch the time. Yeah, Sarri, Sarri's a no for me. It just there's something about him, man, that I just don't Allegri reached two Champions League finals in two years, one of the best tactically. Mm, fair enough. There you go. Some people have said to me that um, Allegri is very defensive. Um, but I don't know. People may have seen more of that Juventus team than me. Kepa's better than Sarri. Oh, my days. Conte, Allegri or Poch for me. Yeah, I agree. They're the three. Some people are saying Rafa Benitez, but he, to me, is way too pragmatic. Uh, I think Ten Hag's all right at Ajax, but he's a little... I, I, I just think that would be a big risk as well. Um, Ajax have dropped into the Europa League, actually, as well. So, Allegri is very negative. Mm -hmm. Wenger, do you know what? It's funny. I see uh, on AFTV, people were calling for um, Arsene Wenger as interim manager till the end of the season. Can you imagine? If Wenger came back to Arsenal, absolute madness. I don't think the club would be able to cope. Allegri and Pogba to Arsenal, if only, man. You know, I would love to sign Pogba. I don't care, you know. That guy is still a top, top footballer. Um, even though he hasn't had the best of time. Nah, not Gerard. He has done a very good job. If he wins the title at Rangers, I think he cements himself as the next Liverpool manager. Um, when Klopp goes, but nah, Gerard's too ingrained in Liverpool for me. I don't think he would work at Arsenal. As soon as the big boys show up from the Champions League in the Europa League stages, we're going back home. Oh, man. I mean, a lot of the bigger teams didn't really drop in, you know. Um, you know, I was worried that Real Madrid and those teams were going to drop in, but they didn't. 
Uh, Pepe having a shocker. I mean, I just see a ball pass to him go straight under his foot. The players will struggle on this pitch, man. Seriously, they will. Beast Titan said I would take Poch. I think I would take Poch. You know, i got to be honest, he's a good coach. Plays youngsters, works with limited funds, knows how to build a team. I think he would have a point to prove to Tottenham as well. I think he would feel very hard done by, by the way um, Tottenham got rid of him. You know, and the fact that Mourinho was just ready to take the job straight away, I think I think that would really irritate him that that was all done. So I think Poch would be very motivated for the Arsenal job personally. Um, corner to Arsenal cleared. Poch in. Um, also, have you seen the video Turkish and their man did with Fabrizio? I've seen, I've seen clips of it. I haven't watched all of it. Um, I saw Turkish yesterday. We did the Supporters Club show. Look out for that. Me, Laurie, Turkish, DT and Robbie. So that's, that's a good show. That should be out tomorrow, I believe. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Poch and Allegri for me. Yeah, I think the thing with Poch, the fact he speaks English, he knows the league, he has a house in London. Uh, I think he would have a point to prove, as I say. The adjustment period would be much easier. Allegri might take a season to get used to English football. And he is quite pragmatic at times. You know, I think Poch does try and play a little bit on the front foot and play good football. So, yeah, I, I would go for Poch. Poch is still getting paid by Tottenham because of the contract he had. Yeah, th listen, there's ways around that. If Arsenal throw the bag at him, man, with enough money in it, they, they can work that out. Oh, man, we're, we're not playing great. Good save, though, there from their keeper. Eddie Howe knows how to build a club with little money. I, I can't finish this. Can't. Listen, bro, we can't be getting Eddie Howe. We can't be getting Eddie Howe, bro. Listen, I know he played decent football at Bournemouth. But he got relegated and he got sacked. And apparently he didn't even get the Nottingham Forest job when he applied for it. So, hi, Curtis, big up. I think Poch will go to United. And this is the problem. Poch knows as soon as... Solskjaer loses two or three games in a row. Their fans are going to be going mental. They're already going mad after what happened in, in the week. If Poch gets the United job, we'll have missed out. But then you look at Man United play Man City this weekend. I think they'll probably get beat. That would be back-to-back -back defeats. You know, I don't know how long Solskjaer will survive there. You know, I think deep down Poch wants the Man United job. Um, Zidane would Zidane come to Arsenal is Zidane good enough it's different working at Real Madrid with a prime Cristiano Ronaldo mate you've never worked with Eddie and Ketty or Granit Xhaka and Mustafi and Hector Bellerin Hector Bellerin doesn't even know how to take a throw in mate and what made it worse Mikel Arteta tried to defend him and say oh we've sent pictures We've sent pictures to the Premier League, um, you know, trying to justify that Hector Bellerin's throw-in style was fine and that, you know, we've seen throw-ins in the Premier League that were worse and they weren't pulled up by the referee. What a pathetic excuse that is. We can all see Hector Bellerin doesn't know how to throw the ball. He's throwing it in front of his head. It's a shambles, absolute shambles. You know what? Looking at the close-up, this pitch is in a really bad condition. So I, I am glad we didn't involve um, Aubameyang because there was rumours of Aubameyang, you know, people were saying, put him in, let him score and get confident. Uh, Sidan said, Curtis, would you take Brendan Rodgers? I think Brendan Rodgers is a good coach. He wouldn't be at the top of my list, um, but I wouldn't ignore him. He, yeah, I would, I would consider it. He's better than Arteta, man. He's better than Arteta, let's be honest. He's done well. Oh, mate. Pepe, poor pass again. Um, yeah, he's better than Artel. Infamous mob, foul throw FC. Come on, man. Bro, you know this, man. Zidane, look at, look at what Zidane's working with. Even right now, look at what Zidane's working with. Hazard, who even ain't even that good anymore at the moment. You know, Benzema, Modric, Ramos. He ain't, he ain't going to know what's going on when he comes to Arsenal. My bad, Anthony, bro. Man said, Diego Simeone. Listen, I don't think Simeone would have any intention of coming. The reason I say that, he's done interviews before where he was asked about coming to the Premier League. 
And he said he wasn't interested. He said he wants to go to Italy. He wants the Inter Milan job. Um, I don't even think he speaks English. I think he even said, you know, he's got no intention of learning English. So I don't see Simeone coming. And you know what? Atletico Madrid are top of the league in Spain. And they've actually just qualified through the next stage of Champions League because they, they look like they could have got knocked out. But they've got through. I, I don't see any way that Simeone walks out on Atletico. I am awesome, said, would you take Vieira? Vieira's a risky one for me. You're going from one big risk to another there. I think Vieira, Vieira, let's be honest, was more qualified to get the job than Mikel Arteta because he had managerial experience. He's a legend of the club as well. So I think the fans would have supported him more. Um, but no, nah, 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 I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take Vieira now, let's be honest. Um, the levels of Modric and Cruz to Xhaka, bro. Zidane's probably better than Granite Xhaka right now. And Zidane's probably, what, 43, 44? You know, he's still better than Xhaka. He's probably quicker than Xhaka as well. Yeah, interesting shout, that. Bielsa. Would you take Bielsa? The thing with Bielsa, he's just got some crazy methods. And I just don't think... I think if you get down with his program and really buy into what he does... You can have success. I just don't know if Bielsa would work at Arsenal, man. I do like him as a manager. I think he's a very talented coach. Uh, Fraudetta out. That defending on Bellerin is not acceptable. It's true. It was a, it was pathetic. It was perfect. It just come out and say, bro, the man can't throw the ball properly. Simple as that. Don't say we've taken pictures and we're sending them to, Lee, to the league to try and justify that the guy ain't throwing the ball right. Come on, man. Just call a spade a spade. It's that simple. Wow. As you just said, Dundalk should have equalised there. Volleyed over the ball. What a chance on the stroke of half time. Poor defending again. Poor, poor defending. Fran, what, what are you doing? Are you busy, Fran? Do you want to jump up? Do you want to come on at half time? Let me know. <clears throat> Would you take the Ajax manager? Ten Hag. Um, again, I think he's a very good coach. I think it would be a risk. I think we need to go for tried and tested. Somebody that understands the league. And um, yeah, for me, Ten Hag, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for him. Uh, as much as I do think he's a very good upcoming coach. Half-time whistle's gone. Strange half, really. 2-1. You know, it's 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 crazy. We're winning the game. I still don't feel overly happy with that performance. I know this isn't our full team, let's be honest. Um, but, you know, we've conceded a goal with a full back four of established players. Um, and, they sh and they should have equalised. Again, we don't look that convincing. You know, it's just the whole the whole Arteta situation to me is just it's just swarming through the club. His whole attitude, mindset, style of play, it's, it's just reflecting in all of it. You know, that's the problem for me. I just I've got no belief in this manager. I'm sorry. I, listen, if he's here, I hope he can turn things around because he's the Arsenal manager. I have to support him. It's as simple as that. But I've got no belief that he's going to do anything substantial. Luis Enrique, I believe, is either the Spanish national coach now. So, you know, he's not going to go anywhere until at least the Euros have finished. So that's that's the problem there. Uh, Curtis, what do you make of Lampard so far? I think Lampard deserves credit for what he's doing. i got to be honest. You know, he got top four last year on the back of losing Eden Hazard and having a transfer ban for a year, that is difficult. He had to promote young players, you know, like Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount, Billy Gilmore. And he got top four and he got to the FA Cup final. I think he, he I think he's doing a good job. The difference is obviously with him and Artel, he got major investment in the club in the summer. They spent over 200 million. Like, you know, I was adding it up today. They, they spent a fortune. They spent 75 million on Havertz, 45 million on Werner, 33 on um, Ziyech. You know, they bought the goalkeeper for 30 million as well. They bought Chilwell for 50 million. Thiago Silva on a free, but on a big wage. 
they spent over 200 million. You know, that, that's serious backing. Arsenal need a summer like that just once. Just once give us that big summer. Would you take Southampton manager? He wouldn't be at the top of my list. Again, I think he's done a really good job at Southampton. And they do have a style of football, unlike Arsenal. Um, would I would I go for him? No, I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I think I think we've got to give it another give it another year or two before we can judge him as a top manager. Um, you need investment to create a chance. Yeah, you do. You do. Um, Lampard has improved all the youngsters even now and got back so he will do well. His man management is good too. They seem to be playing for him, that's for certain. Abraham Mount all had two or three year loan spells. Not like how you've said it many times and you're right, Harish. These players need experience. You, When you look at Willock and Nketiah and Nelson, they look like they haven't played a lot of men's football. You can see it all over them. They're under 23 players, you know, who um, who don't who don't really know men's football. You look at Eddie and Ketia, scored all through the youth system. Reese Nelson was raved about in the youth system. Joe Willock, you know, they were talking about England call-ups. Men's football, under 23 football, is totally different, you know, than playing against your own age group. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. Uh, Darren Eastman, big up bro, he said, none of the players versus Dundalk are nowhere near starting for the Arsenal first team. And it's crazy when you think that £72 million Pepe is in the team. Um, he's definitely not having a great game tonight. I, I, I don't know. Are these players struggling because of the pitch? I don't know. I don't want to give them too big of an excuse, but it will play a part, especially these kind of players who are used to playing on carpets. You know what I mean? Uh, official King says PS5 or new Xbox. I'm a PS, I'm a PS man, you know, PS5. I haven't actually bought the PS5 yet, but I will probably get one when they come back in stock. Um, big up Curtis, big up everyone inside. Smash the like button, people. Yeah, respect Kevy Kev. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, Maitland Niles is impressing. He's a good player, man. He needs a little run. Um, what about Saliba, Curtis, and what does Nelson have to do to get in the team? He doesn't seem interested in uh, Saliba, unfortunately. I just don't get it. I'm, I really don't get why Saliba doesn't get game time. Um, he's, he's now saying he might get involved, which is crazy. And Nelson, like, my, my feeling at the start of the season was that Nelson would be the understudy to Pepe on the right-hand side of the team, um, which is, you know, I spoke to Graham about it earlier. You know, it was like, William, to me, when William was signed, everything in my head said, he'll play in that number 10 role. You know, that's that's what I thought. He'll play number 10. But to play him right wing and to push Pepe out the way and to hold back Nelson, it's a bit like, what's the point? You know, Willian isn't getting any better. He's getting older. To me, when we signed Willian, I thought one-year deal, maybe with a one-year option, play him in that number 10 role, use him as a backup right winger. I didn't mind it. But when I, when when it was like, hold on a minute, he's our first choice right winger, it's like, bro, come on. Come off it, man. That, that's, not, that's not what we should have signed him for. So having looked at how it works, I don't rate that signing. Uh, and especially the way we're using him, you know, the the partnership with him and Bellerin is just not working at all. Um, did you see what RVP said? I did. And, you know, I haven't got a lot of respect for Van Persie, but one thing I do like, he seems to say the honest truth, the harsh truth. And, you know, he was saying that the board, the chairman said, oh, look how well we're doing and showed him, like, you know, sheets of, like, profit that the club had made. And he was like, bro, I, I don't want to look at um, the profit. I want to win the title. Go and spend some money, man. And that sums up the football club, I'm afraid. We've become Arsenal business rather than Arsenal football club. Um, Broski, what do you use um, to do these interviews with Turkish, etc.? Zoom. Nah, StreamYard, bro. StreamYard. 
Zoom is quite difficult to um to do these kind of streams off. It's good for meetings and stuff, but um yeah, not for the streams. Um, Kishen said, respect Big C. Arteta is going to turn it around, Curtis. I think he's going to grow a new Arsenal as he grows as a top manager. I'm hoping. He needs time, man. I mean, geez, he's had some time, though. He's got to do a little bit more with the team than what he's doing at the moment. Curtis, Pablo Mari. I think Pablo Mari will be a decent squad player. I don't think... Um, I'm not sure he's at the level that we need, but, you know, sometimes players develop and become top players. Uh, Saliba got under got a red card for the under twenty threes. He did two yellow cards, um, which is a bit crazy to be honest. You don't you don't want him going in the under twenty threes and getting a red card. Oh, what's it? What's it? Hey, big up my boy Theo Smith as well. What's he saying? These youth that we got, other than Saka and Martinelli, the rest ain't ready. They definitely need loans to establish themselves in men's football. I would agree with that. Hey, let me bring on a guest. What's happening, bro? What's happening? You're right. It keeps. I can hear your voice, and it's like kind of like. Is it lagging, echoing? You know what I mean? mean? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is Forever Football with Franny Green. Make sure you lot go and subscribe to his channel. New. Yeah, what's channel. happening, everyone? You're right. Yeah. What did you watch that first off? Yeah, I was listening to you, and then I was kind of like got it on the second screen and that. So it's hard to judge them against teams like that, and it no disrespect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Fran, obviously, for people who don't know you, you're an ex-footballer yourself as well. You know the game inside out. What what have you made of like Arteta this season? Well, I weren't a fan of him. As you know, I was Mourinho with you. We had this conversation. Um, mm. And I just think for your first job to come into a club like Arsenal, you're asking for trouble. It's not like Chelsea with Frank, the, the legend and the, and the son of Chelsea and that. It's not like that. Um, yeah. So... And a lot would argue, obviously, we're not for top four because of the budget and, and this process business that we've been doing for God knows how long. Yeah. And he's just not given the young players opportunity. And again, we've mentioned it many a times. His man management skills are shocking. Yeah. Just shocking. So, and you, you, know, and you, you mentioned know, it and so you know, many times. And you know, as an ex-player, man, man management, that's everything in a dressing room, isn't it? Well, it's everything. It's everything. He, he mentioned about the party thing at one stage. He was kind of blaming him for wanting to play. He's a footballer. Yeah. He's going to want to play games. Yeah. Um, the the Bellerin thing that you spoke about, throw-ins. I mean, come on. Come on. You, you can't. You, you, my little Pop boy now, him. you know, he's, it's his birthday. I, I'm going to teach yeah. him how to do throw-ins from now. He's four years old, so <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. So, but... It's just a man management, like you said. You know, you've had it. You've had it when you played in that, and mm. it's what makes good coaches. And 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 then from coaches to managers, and yeah. you see it. You see with Klopp. You see with Pep. Not only are they great coaches, it's the way they manage their players and the yeah. high expectations. And we've mentioned. I think we're accepting mediocre from top to yeah. bottom, and that's the problem. Totally agree with you, brother. Like some. To be honest, some of my favourite managers that I've played for, they're not even the best coaches. It's just the way they dealt with the players and how they gave you that freedom to express yourself. And and you know you've played for many managers as well. Like you need that freedom, don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, like it took me it took me eight seasons of being a pro to actually produce what I could produce because <laughs> the manager allowed me to have freedom. Before yeah. that, I had managers bad management, telling me you can't do this, telling me you can't do that. And I think you've seen that as well. Look at Aubameyang. Like, you don't just turn bad overnight. Yeah. you He's getting told to do things he's not comfortable in doing. And then yeah. his confidence has been hit. And then, obviously, the other players, they're not in the same wavelength. And, no. and you can see it throughout the team. They're, they're getting, for me, they're being asked to do jobs they don't want to do and they don't believe in. Yeah. I mean, looking at Aubameyang, obviously you as a striker as well. Man scored goals the whole time he's been at Arsenal. Now he looks like he can't buy a goal. Like, is it down to him, the system? What, what do you make of it? Well, one, it's the system probably. Um, a lot of people say, he, you know, he drifts out wide, he drifts out wide. But if he starts out wide, the whole balance completely changes. When you're a forward, if you, you, if you start central and then you drift out wide to get you space... Then you come back in. So 
for me, it's, it's confidence. He's not getting opportunities. And I've seen it in, I think it was the last game or the game before, we, we, he had a chance. He had, an, yeah. he had a header. And he's jumped and he's kind of turned. It's hit the back of his head. A confident striker, you know, you jump, you put in the defender, the ball and the keeper in the back of the net. So he's not yeah. confident. And I think it's the, the system. And he's probably thinking, what's going on? Like, where am I going to get a chance from? Where am I going to get an opportunity? So, yeah. I think he needs, exactly, he needs the service. Every striker needs service. You look at, mm -hmm. people talk about Kane, people talk about Aguero. They don't get service, they ain't scoring goals. And mm -hmm. Aubameyang needs service. I mean, Lloydish15 here saying, Franny, Aubameyang's service is terrible. He only gets one good chance per game, not good enough. I've got to agree. I've got to agree. I've got to agree. You've got to produce... And we keep going back to this creative midfielder. One creative midfielder is not going to solve our problems. No, as I a agree team, we just don't create. Like, and I yeah. think they've kind of like they've kind of been told to. They've got the leash on. Like, they're not allowed to go and express themselves. And yeah. that's what it looks like to me. They're not allowed to express. So we, we've, you know, we've shored it up a bit at the back, but that's come at a cost of being yeah. creative by not taking risks. Yeah, and I think that's we just ain't got the balance right at the moment. What would you have done with Meza Ozil? It's a tricky one. We know he's we know he's a very educated player away from the game. He's his yeah. belief, he's politically correct, etc. And if you know what he said about the Chinese, etc., if this all comes out and it's true, then you know it's come from the hierarchy why he's not involved. Yeah. But to drop to drop one of the best players that we've got, if not the best creative player. It's political. And he may not be in love with Arsenal no more. You know, yeah. the, the time where he was wanting to leave, was he promised something that never came to fruition? And you know, it's like when, when if someone promises you something in a football club and it don't happen, mm. all of a sudden you're not interested in that club. And I, I know the wage is, is always, it always comes back to the wages and you're professional and it's a dream job. But all footballers are just the same as everyone else in the stands. Psychologically, there's something behind the scenes that we're not, we don't know about. And I think we'll know about it once he comes, once he leaves, I think you'll know about the full story. Obviously you've heard me. I, I, I'm at the point now, I think Arteta should be moved on. As you've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know that yeah. by now. Like, where, yeah. Where's your head at in terms of Arteta? Would you get rid of him? Would you give him more time? Or what do you think? Well, I put a little rant on, didn't I? Um, on the new channel, I put a little rant on. A um, yeah, few people totally. watched it and that. And I thought, I thought about it after and I thought, am I being a little bit too harsh? So then I was kind of like, let me give him a little bit of time and belief. But then the next performance, we play Spurs and I know, you know, Spurs are top, et cetera, and that. But again, like, yeah, we had, we had nearly all the possession. I don't know if you see, yeah. you would have seen the stats. We had like 7%, 70% of the possession. Mm. And it was, it was poor. We had to go towards the end. And I just don't think, for me, everyone's going to give him time. I'm saying, what if he loses the next three? Yeah. Are you still going to give him time at Christmas? Are you still going to give him time? I'm all for giving time, but you're in the hardest, most entertaining league in the world at one of the most famous clubs in world football. Unfortunately, mm. you don't get time. And if you're not, if, if you're getting time and you're progressing, then fair enough. But come on, we're back. We're going backwards now. No one can say we've progressed. We're going we're no. backwards. So you've got to go. It's got, any other club, any other ambitious club, he's gone. It's gone. I agree. I agree. If he's at United, Liverpool, somewhere like that, they're getting rid of him. They're not accepting 15th. Nah, not accepting that. Nah, having it. But Fran, the second half started, so I'm going to continue with the watch along. But we'll do it. We'll do a show together maybe next week. Yeah, of course. Week. Yeah. 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 Obviously, yeah. It'd be great, man. It'd be great people, too, obviously. Man, yeah. Obviously, I was there. What's your channel. name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forever <laughs> football with me, Francis Green. I've got a new channel, so me, me and Curtis go back a long, long way. Um, so it'd be great if you subscribe to that. I'm doing previews of the games and reviews of weekend fixtures, and as we go, we'll get a lot more people on. So yeah, great to have me on, Kurt, and yeah, hope the up, second man. half is better than the first half, mate. <laughs> yeah, man. Take care, Fran. I'll catch See up you, later, everyone. Take Get care. Out, Thank man. you. Yeah, big up, Franny, man, for coming on. Let me um let me just read that. Yeah, there we go. Right, second half's underway. Ah, oh, let's see if this one's a little more entertaining. Yeah, he knows he knows his stuff, man. Um, let me get the let me. 
Do you know what? I'll put the link in the description. It's called Forever Football with Francis Green. Forever Football with FG. Let me let me um let me type it in. Forever. He knows his stuff, man. He knows he knows his stuff. Forever football with FG. Yeah, there you go. So just type that in on YouTube. That's his YouTube channel, Forever Football with Franny Green. Um, he knows what he's talking about, man. But I'll be, I'll do it. I'll, here he is as well. Let's get, let's click on his thing. But yeah, second half's underway, man. Let's see if Arsenal can do any better. Because two one is not acceptable after <laughs> you playing a team in the Irish Premier League. You got to be doing better than that. Uh, yeah, go go and subscribe to his channel. He will be. Uh, we will do. We will start doing a show actually. So it'd be good if you guys can go and check that out. Um, Ains has just lost the ball. No changes at half time. Still no. Still no Balogun. You know. Eddie on the ball loses the edge of the box. Top four, mate. Oh, listen, we're, we're miles off the top four. Top four is not happening this season, let's be honest. We're definitely not getting top four, in my opinion. Our, our only hope is this competition, really. Can we win the Europa League? Lord Nicholas Benter says, Big C, would you take <laughs> Do you know what? Benter, Benter's one of them players in it, like, nobody never really rated him as a player, but, you know, pop up with the odd important goal and he really loved the club when he was here. You know, he probably couldn't believe he played for us, man. Um, Balogun, the next Adebayor. Interesting. I mean, you got to play him to see if he is the next Adebayor. You can't, you can't leave him on the bench. What, I mean, why not play him? If you're not going to start him, at least give him 45 minutes. I don't get it. Uh, Kyron said, we, we've we had four managers, Wenger, Emery, Lundberg, Arteta. Do you think they will be motivated to continue playing? I think, listen, you got to look at it. Wenger was a legend of the club. And, um, you know, he... His time was up. I think the players stopped reacting to him and what he was doing and what he was saying. Um, Emery, he started the first season very well. They bottled it at the end of the season, unfortunately. And, um, you know, the Europa League final, I blame the players. And then the next season, it went wrong. Uh, Lundberg was only there for a few games. And Arteta, for me, you know, I think Emery was more communication. You know, if you can't, if Emery could speak English, I think he would still, he would still potentially be the manager. I think communication was his biggest downfall. Um, Arteta, for me, you're walking into a dressing room where the team have just, you know, started the season that bad. I don't think they sat there when Mikel Arteta came in and thought, wow, you know, things are about to get serious, man. This is a big boy manager. They looked at him and thought, man like Ozu's probably thinking, bro, I've had a better career than you. What can you tell me about football? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ozu's probably thinking, I'm a World Cup winner, bro. You never even played for Spain. Arteta was trying to play for England, bro. You know what I mean? He realised, oh, I ain't getting nowhere near this Spanish team when they had Iniesta and, you know, Xavi and Fabregas, Cazorla, all these men. Arteta tried to play for England. Oh, my days. Look at look at Dundalk. Look dangerous, man. Um. So, yeah, for me, Arteta, he was never going to command the respect to the dressing room. That's the problem. Where's Balogun? Balogun's on the bench, bruv, you know? I don't know why. I do not know why. If you want to play two up top, why not play Balogun and Nketiah together? Play Pepe one, one wing and, and maybe someone else on the other. I don't get it. Do you know what? That's a good point. If Lundberg would have won them games, I reckon they would have probably said keep the job until the end of the season. And then I think they would have probably... Um, yeah, if he'd have done well, they might have given it to him, which which is crazy, but... Um, loads of great managers were bang average players, to be fair. No, nah, you're right in that sense. I'm just saying, like, if you're turning down top managers and you're not even bringing in a guy who was a top player, 
what are you really getting? You're getting a guy you don't even know if he's a good manager and you're getting a guy who wasn't a top player. So to me, it's like a lose-lose situation. Um, and, to, you know, I don't blame him for all of it. I think the job was just too big for him. He should have gone somewhere else, you know, but he wasn't never going to turn down the Arsenal job. I don't blame him. Um, Arteta out, says Arthur, with a picture of Homer Simpson. Yeah, out for me, bro. Seriously, I, I would let him go. I would let him go. I don't um I don't think he needs to do anything more. Balogun means general in Yoruba. Ah, general Balogun, you know, but the man needs to be on the pitch. That Murray brother looks slow, he does, man. That's the one thing I've always said. And and everyone who ever has spoken about Pablo Murray, and I've watched a few videos on people who knew Bra uh, Brazilian football well. They say the one thing with that Pablo Mari, he is slow, mate. You know, if you get real pace against him, he's in trouble. Um, Arteta, a substitute teacher. You know when you've got the strict teacher who just, you know, don't let you get away with anything. And then that substitute teacher comes in who's just got no respect from the students and all the kids just start playing up. That's what they're doing with Arteta, bro. The kid at the back of the class just throwing newspaper, you know, screwing up newspaper and dashing it, making paper airplanes and that. They don't care about Arteta, bro. You know? Arteta, bro. Come on. Um, get a great manager with these players then. Uh, Fran said, thanks for the love, everyone. Big up to my boy, Curtis. No worries, bro. We'll sort our show next week. Everyone, make sure you go and subscribe to that. Big upcoming channel. Um, Theo Smith said the Brazilian Murtasaka, Pablo Murtasaka. We got so many slow man. It's crazy, isn't it? Like oh, that's a great. Do you know one thing? I'll give Cedric. He's got a good cross on him. Um, for real, he can cross a ball, man. Um, yeah, bro. Yo, he's not even Brazilian, bro. He's Spanish, but he came from um, Brazilian league. Um, but yeah. Man looks seriously slow. For all you FIFA players, mate, you're going to need more than a shadow card to rescue him. Man's got... He's probably like 45 pace on FIFA. <laughs> oh, dear. Curtis, no, you know, man, you know these men are just playing up for him, man. They, they ain't bothered about Arteta. Would you, keep an, uh, would you keep him as an assistant manager? He's just not going to accept that, is he? That's the only problem. You know, so it wouldn't be the end of the world, but any manager really is going to want to bring his own manager in with him. Um, so maybe not. I'd rather see an Arsenal legend as assistant manager. You know, Vieira's out of work now. Imagine bringing in, like, I don't know, imagine you brought in Conte as manager with Patrick Vieira as assistant manager learning, you know, just something like, oh, I love that kind of combination. A top manager with maybe a top ex um, player of the club or something like that. Jansen Brewster said, that joke you gave Ty on AFTV when you told him other managers are available was absolute gold. Bro, you know what? I saw Ty yesterday. He comes to AFTV FC training and um, we were cracking up about that as well, man. He was like, yeah, you done me with that one. Um, big up Ty. Yeah, that he's 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 just comedy gold Ty is, man. Um, who's the one player you wish we signed that we missed out on? Bro, the list is endless. If you if you hear these stories about um Arsene Wenger and all the players that he missed out on, there's just so many of them. Probably Cristiano Ronaldo. He was at the training ground. Um, the deal was was there to be done and they missed out on it. My new came and snatched him. So it's got to be Ronaldo, really. Um, would you? Who would you rather, Conte or Nagelsmann? Uh, five at the back managers. A lot of people seem to like that. I would go Conte because I just know what he's about. He's done it in the Prem. He's won the Prem, you know? Um... <laughs> Oi, he's your uncle, bro. Don't try that. <laughs> you put some glasses on. You look quite similar to Ty. <laughs> Big old Theo. Don't try and do that to me, bro. <laughs> oh, dear. Man's trouble, you know. I might have to block him. Um, 
that you listen, Di Ball is a mad one because I'm hearing Juventus are willing to sell him. I think he's got a year left in the summer. Di Baller, man, someone's got to get him in England. You know, the guy is a baller. I think the problem with him, what position do you play him in? Is he that kind of right winger who comes in and cuts inside? Is he that number 10? I, I, I look at Di Baller, I don't know what his best position is. Some of you guys have probably seen him more than me. He kind of plays off that right and drifts inside. But I, I think, you know, they're saying it could be a, like 50 million for Di Baller. I would take a chance on him. Um, do you think Vieira would bring the best out of Partey? I think Partey's performing. It's just keeping him fit. Every time I've watched him play, really, he's done the business. Uh, maybe it would help him, but I, I don't think we've got anything to worry about um, with with Partey. I think he's a top player. Um, Coutinho's better than Dybala. Different kind of players, you know. One's left-footed, a bit more of a forward. Coutinho's more of a like left midfielder slash number 10. Um, no, nah, I, I think, I think Coutinho is more established, you know, but I do, I like Dybala. He's younger as well. Dybala is a second striker like Jao Felix. Yeah, I, I would, I would agree. I wouldn't mind. Imagine Dybala behind Aubameyang. It's mad, mad. Isco has accepted terms with Arsenal. I haven't heard that, but... I, I would be happy to take Isco in January. He's better than what we've got. Um, yeah, I would definitely take Isco um, on loan in January. Um, Dybala, best position is 10. Put him behind a Bamiang. Martinelli on the left. Oh, but then Saka's not in the team. I don't know. Martinelli, Bamiang, Pepe, or, you know. It's a good point. Someone's saying there, how old is Dybala? He, he can't be older than, what, 25, 26? Am I wrong? I don't know. He's 27, you know. I didn't think he was that old. I'd still sign him. I would still definitely sign him. Do you know what, <laughs> Michael, it's not letting me click on your comment, but um, man's having a dig at... Um, Isco. The thing is, bro, most Arsenal fans, yeah, if we would have said, let's get Hammers Rodriguez, a lot of Arsenal fans, oh, here we go. Here we go. Before I'll come back to that comment. Balogun is coming on. Balogun and Sabayos coming on. Yeah, as I was saying, most, most people wouldn't have taken Hammers Rodriguez. You know what our fan base is like? Man, ah, he's washed up, man. I don't want him. He comes to the Prem starts balling and everyone says, ah, you know, maybe we would have taken him. You can't just write off Isco because he's had a bad year or so, man. That guy is a baller. I actually think Isco was better than James Rodriguez, you know? Absolute baller. I saw him rip Angolo Kante to shreds in a game when Spain played um, France. And you don't see many players do that to Kante. Isco Isco's a serious baller, man. Balogun with the all black boots means business. Yo, he's on smoke. I'm telling you, this guy, you, this guy can play. I'm telling you. He's a bit rags. He's a little bit raw, but he's a serious player. Come on, Pepe, man. We're still not playing great football. Let's be honest. 2-1. 2-1 against these. I think, I think Arteta would get criticised for this. I don't think I don't think he would get any praise for winning this game 2 1. When Isco comes to Arsenal, he will become Sabayos. I think he's a lot better than Sabayos, I've got to be honest. Um I think he's way, way more talented. I think Isco's got magic. I don't think Sabayos has got magic. I just think Sabayos is a technically, you know, he's a technical player. Good player, but um, would you take Leon Bailey? I would, but I would I would go for Zaha over Bailey, man. As that left winger. El Nenny comes off for Sabayos. FIFA Gaming says Balogun joining Liverpool in the summer. Bro, you can see something like that happening all day long. They try to get Saka. You know, Liverpool try to get Saka. They're not stupid, man. They know when there's a youngster on the scene. 
that things are going in. Look, Eddie comes off. He don't look happy. You've got your goal, Eddie, man. Chill. Balogun time. Baller comes on. Eddie, you go and relax. Go and put some credit on that phone. Big baller time now. Let's go, Balogun. We need that goal. Do you know what I mean? We need that goal. I really want him to score, you know. Free kit. Who's taking it? Cedric. Ooh, good save. Ah, oh, ref, come on. Do you know what? Cedric Cedric seems quite good technically, man. He's got decent set pieces on him. I don't know, don't know how good he is defensively, if I'm honest. Um, but definitely got good set piece. Uh Siamak said, loving the show. Greetings from Denmark. Big up yourself. I hope things change in the future for Arsenal. It has to be with a quality coach. The rookie can't handle the squad at the moment. Thank you for tuning in all the way from Denmark. And I totally agree with you. You know, the guy is a rookie and a massive job and he's struggling to cope with it. Balagun, you don't know already, man. Balagun's a baller, man. Yo, Eddie, man. Eddie needs to go shop and top up. <laughs> go get that EE top up, man, you know. Five pound. <laughs> Eddie, man, come on. Eddie's not ready, man. There you go, man. Michael said Eddie wasn't good enough for Leeds. And that's when Leeds were in the championship, bro. Not like they was in the Prem at the time. They, imagine they sign a man for 12 months. You know what I mean? They, they would have paid money up front to get him. And after six months, they say, just have it. It's like you buying something from the shop and you don't like it. And you go back to the shop with your receipt and you say, you know what? I don't even want my money back. Just have it. I don't even make sense. Why wouldn't Leeds have just kept him and just let him chill? They said, just just get rid of him. We don't, you make me sick. Bielsa was like, just just get him out. <laughs> get that puto out of here. <laughs> man sent him back and said, yo, just keep the money, man. We don't we don't even want him. Just take him. Fought San Mourinho praising Artel. Listen, let me tell you what that was. That was like patting a dog on the head. You know, when you see a dog, you're like, oh, you know, nice dog, pat it on the head. That's what Mourinho was doing to Artel. When does Mourinho praise a manager that he thinks is a threat? He looks at Artel like, look at this little puppy, mate, trying his best at Arsenal. He's just tapping him on the head, man, taking the mick. You've just slapped us up 2 0, and you're saying, oh, what a great coach he is. He was mugging him off, man, tapping him on the head. Well done. T-Mobile for Eddie, man. Yo, man, know about T-Mobile? One-to-one. What do, what do man know about one-to-one? -one? Them old school, them old school um, Ian Wright adverts. Yo, Lycra Mobile, man, them them bootleg um, SIM cards that you get for about 50p. That's what Eddie's on. Eddie's, Eddie should be playing for Dundalk, let's be honest. <laughs> Eddie should be playing for them, man. He's nowhere near good enough to play for Arsenal, man. I'm telling you, not even close. Curtis, you ever watched the movie The Rookie with Charlie Sheen, Clint Eastwood? Clint told Charlie to shoot the bad girl and he froze near like, rookie don't work out. No time for the rookie, man. Man said, puta. Yo, you know, man, they're the only cuss words, man, knowing them Spanish language, man, you know. I ain't fluent with that, but. <laughs> Be else, you know. Man said, just take him back, man. I want nothing to do with it. Eddie Nocky. <laughs> they need, you know what? I can see Eddie on an advert still, you know, just doing a phone advert. Not even a footballer no more. Just retired in a suit. You know, come and get your new Eddie Nokia, man. <laughs> you know, looking back at when he was a footballer, man like Eddie, you know. Eddie and Ketter, are you mad? You got other clubs bringing through Greenwood and them, man. We're out here with Eddie and Ketter. Nah, bro. You, when you go on loan to the Championship from a Prem club, you're supposed to go and tear it up and then come back and do the business. This guy went there and flopped, you know. They, they didn't even want Bamford last year. They had to put him back in like, yo... Man don't even rate Bamford, but he's better than Eddie, bruv, you know? Now Bamford's lighting it up in the prem. Jeez, man. Eddie, man, Eddie. Eddie's going to be selling phones in a year, man, I'm telling you. He's out, He's done out here. 3-1. 3-1, man. What am man saying? Balogun, set it up. Hold up play, strength, sets up Willock. Yeah, love that, love that. 
Big Balogun with the assist. Look at the way he pins the defender. Good finish, Joe Willock. 3 1 to Arsenal. Hale end goal, man. Made in Hale end. Let these youngsters ball, man. Let them have it. Give them a chance. You can't develop them if they don't get football. Good header. Smith Rowe tried to think. Because the way Balogun's holding him off. Yeah, man. That man's a baller, man. Yo, man. Look at the way he pins that centre back. Man's only 18 years of age, you know. Just pinning big centre backs like that. Good composure from Willock. Takes his time. Good strike. Keeper maybe should do better, but who cares? 3 1. Look at the way the defender's trying to pull Balogun as well. Big man strength, you know. I'm telling you, hard food and proper strength. Well done, Balogun. We just need a goal now. Bro, can you imagine if I ever met Eddie in the in the street after I've been trolling the man like this? But uh, listen, man, I speak my truth, man. No one can tell me this guy's a top player. Listen, he might become it. He might become it. But right now, nah, bro. Not that guy. Uh, Eddie ain't doing that, bro. This guy's, what, two or three years younger than Eddie. Look at the way he just pinned that guy. Big man defender, you know. Balogun should be on the bench on, on Sunday, 100%. 100%. Yo, Curtis, what part of Notch you from, bro? Keep repping NG for us. All day, bro. I'm from St. Anne's. Brewster's Road, man. NG free. <clears throat> oh, Balogun. Come on. You need the goal now, bro. You get the goal, we're good. If he gets a goal and an assist. Ooh, Pablo Mari with a shot. Trust me, man. Balogun needs runouts in the prim. He's got to put him on the bench on the weekend, surely. 21 minutes to go. So, there, yo, I'm going to clear. Uh, Curtis, would you ask Eddie if he works at Carphone Warehouse? <laughs> I'll be like, Eddie, bro, you got, you got any deals for me, man? I need a new contract. i will be like, yeah, I'll play for Arsenal. I'll be like, come on, Eddie. I'll tap him on the head like Mourinho was tapping. I'll Eddie, come on. You don't really play for Arsenal, mate. I've seen you on the telly. You're, you're not good at He'll be fuming, by the way. He'll be like, bro, do you know how much money I'm earning? You're, you're on peanut. I'll be like, bro, I don't care, bro. I'll be, yo. <laughs> oh, dear. This is Curtis. Why you treat Eddie like animal? <laughs> Mourinho saying congrats to Arteta. Stinging him up big time, definitely. 80% of the squad needs to be sold. Teaching Hector to throw a ball. The worst thing is what I can't, I can't believe what Arteta did is how he tried to justify it. That's what I can't get my head around. Come out and say, yo, bro, you know what? This level, that's not acceptable that a man can't throw a ball properly or we need to teach him on the training ground genuinely how to throw a ball. But the man's going, we've sent pictures to the FA to try and justify it. Just please, man, stop. Stop at that point, you know? Um, I don't I don't want to hear excuses like that, man. They're weak excuses. Seriously, man. I would say the youngsters for us right now, like someone just said, apologies, man. I didn't uh the, the comment flew off. It was he was saying Saka, Martinelli, Balogun. They're the young books, man. I'm telling you, they're the ones who can can really do something. Um, no fire in Eddie's eye. I agree. I think he's I think he, he's used to just scoring at youth level, so he kind of goes through the motions with it. Where I think Balogun's got that hunger in him, man, in his belly to just, yo, I'm 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 gonna do something in this team. You know, he's strong, he's quick, you know. Look at him, look at him, look at him, just pin him on. Look at him. I know these are simple things, yeah. And if Eddie was doing this, we probably wouldn't be complimenting him. So I don't want to get carried away, like, just holding a ball up. But listen, certain men in the Arsenal team don't even do that well. Aubameyang doesn't even hold the ball that well, let's be honest. Balogun's got some mad strength, I'm telling you. Um, Jonathan said, bro, any father would defend his son. <laughs> I'm telling you, Arteta, man, he's got two kids at Arsenal. One's Hector Bellerin and the other one's um, Eddie and Ketty. I think when he came to London, man, and saw all the culture, you know, made himself Eddie. Eddie was his little secret love child when he played for Arsenal. And uh, 
Hector's his, his boy, man. Born and bred with him. Ah. Uh, and this is what I'm saying. You know, stop the excuses, bro. Like, you want to dig out certain players when they do things. But then on the flip side, you're defending certain players and saying, oh, we've sent pictures in. Why didn't you say I've sent pictures in when um, Pepe got sent off and he didn't even really headbutt the guy? Don't get me wrong. It is a red card in the modern game, but you didn't send pictures in for him. You didn't try and defend him. Hector Bellerin, who can't even throw a ball, you took pictures and sent... Imagine what they're thinking at the FA. The referee on Sunday was laughing at Bellerin. He was like, he was like, what do you want me to do, mate? Like, you can't even throw a ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's mad. Good to see you, Happy Curtis. Big up, Cyrus. Bro, Thursday night, we can smile as Arsenal fans. Sunday evening... It's nothing but anger and cones all over the place, you know, fuming. So we have to enjoy the Thursdays, man. Less pressure. That pounded yam, man. Yo, that proper, that proper strength, you know. I hope we get. We need to get the fourth or fifth just to make it look a bit more comfortable. Obviously, um, three-one still doesn't look that convincing to me. Oh my god. Oy, Pepe tried to chip the keeper. I don't mind that. I don't mind that, man. He's back next week against Southampton. He needs to do bits. Arteta is biased. He throws Ozil and Guendouzi, but doesn't drop Bellerin. Doesn't give chances to the youngsters this season. He's not for us, so just be experimental. Exactly. The Premier League season's all over the place. Why not give people a chance? You don't find Jack Wilshere... Cesc Fabregas, um, Marcus Rashford, you don't find these players without a brave manager saying, you know what, I'm going to play the 18-year-old on Saturday who's never started for the first team. Why not? Why not play Balogun against Burnley? You know, what are these strikers doing at the moment? Just, But he, you can just tell Arteta will never take that type of risk. I think I I think if we lose on Sunday, I think the cone man is done. Yeah, I think I think he'll be close to it. I do. I don't think the board will accept a defeat at home to Burnley, man, on, on top of the on top of the other performances. But you know, I hope we win. Now, let's hope we get six points. Burnley and Southampton, two home games, good opportunity to close the gap. After that, you know, we play Everton away, Chelsea at home, which will be more difficult. Um so yeah, let's see. Spuds Ali says, Curtis, were you a professional footballer before I was? I was. Back in the back in the old days, man, you know. Arteta gets his fashion tips from Hector. <laughs> I hope not. You know, he might turn up in a sarong one day at the game. Hector's got some fruity fashion, man. You know, he's borderline with his fashion. Um KM promo, G's NG3, you know, my missus from there, Porchester Road and that rough ends back in the day. Yeah, I know Porchester Road. St. Anne's my area, man. That's my place, Brewster's Road. Martinelli and Balogun, the future is bright, I agree. Chuck Saka in the mix as well. And uh, I think they're, uh, they're our three youngsters, Ray. I can't wait for Martinelli to come back. I just hope, I hope he has the same level or similar level to what he had before. Um, because obviously he's had quite a bad knee injury, so you never know how players are going to recover from those injuries. Um, Curtis, you think Xhaka Bella in holding start against Burnley? Oh, my days. I mean, the fact none of them are playing now would probably indicate they're going to... None of them three are good enough, let's be honest. Um, I remember when people used to call Rob Holding, what was that song? Better than Cannavara. Oh, mate. He is, he is, look at Balogun's strength. That's a foul. I'm telling you, this boy's rough, you know. He's not playing. Look at the pitch man are playing on and that. That boy, that boy is strong, bro. I'm telling you. Some next hard food that man's eating. Um, I would sell all three of them at the end of the season. Shaka, Bellerin, Holding. Crazy thing is, we've had opportunities to sell all three of them. Xhaka could have gone her for Berlin, 18 million last January. Arteta begged him to stay for some reason. Um, Bellerin could have got to PSG, loan with a with an option to sign. 
I wouldn't have probably took if there's an obligation, I would have took it. Rob Holding, you could have gone to Newcastle for I think 10 million. I would have sold all three of them. Look at that pitch, you nice, know, bad. It's bad for the level of football that these guys are playing at. You know, you expect better than that. Um, as a, as you can see, they they shear it with a rugby rugby um team plays on it. So looks in really bad. Oh, Chambers gets away with it. Do you think Aubameyang today should play to get confidence? No chance. Look at that pitch. Can you imagine Aubameyang gets a serious injury on that? I mean, Arteta's under enough pressure already. Good defending by Kalasinac, something I don't say often. Um, what do you think a professional footballer needs the most? I would say freedom, honestly. I would. I just think when you have freedom to express yourself and belief from the manager, freedom and belief, it gives you so much confidence. It makes you want to work harder. You know, it makes you want to become a top player when when you know a manager's got belief and they give you freedom to express yourself. You know, what well, I think one of the best bits of advice I've I've ever had from a manager. It was a manager called Gary Mills. He was a not he played for Nottingham Forest for a lot of years. He said to me, he said, "Do what you're good at." It's such a simple thing, and in in hindsight, you know, it's it's obvious as well. But do what you're good at. Too many players, they're really good at something. Like you might be a great long passer, you might have a great shot, you might be really skillful. But because the way modern day football is, players all play the same nowadays. A lot of them at youth level, they all play the same. You know, because these coaches, they want perfect football, pass, move, pass, move, pass, move. So what you do, sometimes you lose that maverick talent who can actually, you know, run past two or three players. I remember playing for Nottingham Forest when I was younger, at youth level, and a manager said to me, do everything um, on two touch. Because I was one of them players, I wanted to run at players and take on two or three players. And he was moaning. He was saying, no, do everything. Control set, control set. But you're never going to find, you don't find Paul Gascoigne. You don't find Joe Cole and players like that if you force players to do that. So that's the problem. I'm seeing you lot in the comments saying, Balogun, I want to see it. I'm about five seconds behind. I'm about to see it right now. Pepe slides him in. Come on, man. Look at the boy. I told man, look at the little Henri finish. Ball art. He's the man's come on. Assist and goal. If you don't listen to this, Mikel Arteta, he's 10 times better than Eddie and Ketty. i would be promoting him ahead of Lacazette. I don't care. Pepe, good little ball. Look at the finish. That's uh, that's an Omri finish, and I'm not getting carried away. This kid is a baller. 18 years of age, comes on, gets a goal, gets an assist. Look at the composure. The finish. <sighs> Right in the corner as well, man. The guy is a baller. If they let him go, I'm telling you, this is going to be another Gnabry situation. He's going to become a top player somewhere else. They better get him in the office tomorrow morning and get that contract signed, man. This kid is a baller, man. Absolute baller. 18 years of age. He's strong. He's aggressive. He holds the ball up. He's way better than Eddie and Ketty. I would even be playing him ahead of Lacazette. Lacazette can go in the summer. Give the young kid a chance, man. This is how you find superstars, man. Great finish. Look at the confidence how he just stroked it, you know? I saw his hat-trick last year against Barnet in a friendly right. Go and watch that hat-trick on YouTube. Honestly, I don't care how old. I think he was 17 at the time. One of the best hat-tricks I've seen in person. You know, like just the finishers were devastating. Serious player, man. Um, I'm so happy with that. Uh, big up my brother Broads TV. Go and subscribe to his channel as well. Uh, more content will be coming on there soon. I will be applying pressure on him to get some content on there. Um, no way is he getting in the team over Eddie Arteta. Yeah, for real, man. As I was saying, this is this is adopted boy, isn't it? Um. Eddie is, uh, him and Bellerin are his secret kids. Aziz on his way, man, finally. You know what I mean? These men could have these men could have started the game. There was no need for these lot to be on the bench. We knew we was probably going to win this game. I bet Eddie's fuming right now. Eddie's gone, mate. He's left. He's in the phone shop 
throwing SIM cards in the air, mate. <laughs> Going mental. He smashed his phone. <laughs> Eddie, man. Eddie's fuming. Oh, dear. But, yeah, as we were saying before, sorry, I missed a lot of comments there that I wanted to read out as well. But, um, yeah, listen, freedom. I think sometimes in this country now, we overcoach. We overcoach players, and, and that, to me, is what needs to happen, needs to stop happening. I think you've got to allow players the freedom, man. Players players are all, the, all being coached the same way now. That's one thing I don't like with English football, you know? But nah, man, are cracking up in it. Aziz is on for Willock. Bro, I'm telling you, Eddie's left the Eddie left the ground. Eddie's Eddie's in Dublin City Centre right now, mate, in, in um Carphone Warehouse. Smashing phones. <laughs> Throwing all the SIM cards at him. I said, not again. He's come on and scored again. He's two footing him in training tomorrow. It's a fact. He's two footing him. He's not having it. Eddie's fuming. They should have zoomed in on Eddie's face when Balogun scored that. I know the man's vexed, you know, I'm telling you. Ah, I'm so happy for Balogun. Man's a baller. I said, poor Eddie. Eddie's had his chances, man. Eddie's had pure chances to, to establish himself in this team. He ain't done nothing. He ain't done a thing. A few tappings, that's it. Balogun, you're mad. Man said throwing SIM cards. Yo, you know, man, do, you, do any of you lot believe Eddie is sitting on that bench happy when Balogun slotted that? No chance. He's fuming. Fuming, bro. Phone's getting smashed. I'm glad Aziz is on. I've heard things about him as well. I heard he's a little bit rash at times, but you got to give these guys the chance to develop, man. Um, Curtis, your mods or clowns block me for no reason. Ah, listen, mods, go easy, man. But listen, it, any mods in the chat, obviously, if people are, are spamming or putting rude things, then, you know, feel free to time out or block. But if my not saying nothing, then let them leave them, man. Um, Balogun comes on, assist and goal, Eddie gets tappings. Balogun, mate. Baller gun, as man was calling him earlier. It's time for a youngster to, to develop at Arsenal, man, you know? You know, you can't we can't keep we can't keep holding these guys back. Balagunners, I'm te bruv. This guy's a baller, fam. I'm telling you. Said it from oh what? I'm seeing people say 4-2 in the comments from trusted sources as well. So I know you guys are telling the truth. Oh my days. <laughs> Eddie is poo. I agree, Cruz. <laughs> Oh, man. I agree, he is. You're right here, though. Conceding two goals against these is, is shocking. Ball whipped in. I mean, uh, am I being harsh here? Should the keeper do better? Oh, come on. I, I don't know. I don't know. Am I being harsh? He's miles out with the head. I'm sorry, mate. The goalkeeper should be doing better. The goalkeeper should be doing better there, man. Come on. Look how far he's heading that from. And, and I'm not being disrespectful. When you're calling these a pub team, man, right? to me, I, I think Don Dort would get relegated in the championship. Honestly, I don't think they would. I don't think they'd stay up in the championship. And they're scoring two goals against us. And they've had chances as well. Jeez, man. Oh, mate. Run awesome. Just think last year our number two was Emmy Martinez. Now it's Run awesome. If Leno gets injured this season, wow. A number two goalkeeper is miles off it. He's nowhere near good enough. Oh, Cottrell's on as well. Left back. That's good, man. The youngsters are on at least. And said, old Czech is better than... He is. He actually is better than him as well. I mean, Czech's re-registered, I think. I'm not joking. I think I could play against this team, Dundalk. Honestly, if I was fully fit, I can play against this team right now and, and do something. I'm not even bantering either. And we're conceding two against these. 
and they've had chances as well. That's the worst thing. They could have scored. They could have scored three or four. <laughs> Theo said, are we conceding two? It's Dumbledore. Imagine when we play a good team. Oh, my. <laughs> this guy's out of order, you know. <laughs> it's a Dumbledore. Oh, my days. This is where we're at. This is where we're at right now. Poor defending. Ooh, 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 that's naughty, man. Caught him as well. Balogun has to be in the team on the weekend, surely. I wouldn't bank on it, bruv. This is Mikel Arteta. He'll probably be playing for the under-23s. You know? Man said, run arson is our Kepa. I suppose the only good thing. When arson costs 1.5 mil, Kepa costs like, what, 60 mil? 70 mil? He costs an absolute fortune. Young Cottrell on the on the ball. Oh, great ball as well to Sabias. Here we go. Ah, oh, tackled him. They've got the ball back. Um, we got to start winning in the Prem. We do. We do. We have to win this. We have to win the next two games for me. Burnley and Southampton, two home games. We've got to win both of them. Don't win both of them. And you ask serious questions. All right, worst case scenario, you've got to beat Burnley. Uh, nah, he's got to win them both, in fact. I was actually going to give him the excuse of maybe a draw against Southampton, but I can't. Can't give him. Got to win both. I'm not accepting anything less. Got to win both games. Cedric's crossing is decent. I agree with that. He's got a good delivery. Defensively, I'm still not sure how good he is. You know, but in terms of um, crossing ability, 10 times better than Hector Bello. Listen, against Burnley, I, I would play Ainsley or Cedric at right back, but we know it's not going to happen. He ain't going to drop the love child. That's the problem. Um, I swear if Arteta plays Hector, I'm going to lose it. I think you'll be losing it, bro. We'll play him. He will play him. I think we'll win 2-0 on Sunday. I hope you're right. I'll take that. I'll take listen, I'll take any type of victory. I'll take one nil at own goal. Anything. Obviously, it'd be nice to beat them three or four nil and a few players score. You know, but I'm not confident. You can see how you you can already see the 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 horror story. Like nil nil, we're struggling. They get a set piece. Chris Ward. You know what I mean? You can see it. So they bet they better. They better listen. They better beat Burnley. That's all I'm saying. Cedric better than Bellerin. He's way better on the ball. That's for certain. Whether he's better defensively is a different story. But yeah. Broad says someone needs to make one of them undercover documentaries highlighting what's actually happening at Arsenal and why certain decisions are being made. You're right, bruv. Listen, if they made, can you imagine if they made the Netflix series on Arsenal? Bro, I thought Gwen Doozy was centre mid, number 66. It's a Z's, isn't it? Um, yeah, as man was saying, a Netflix series on Arsenal, it would break records. It would be the biggest thing ever downloaded it in terms of football because the amount of stuff behind the scenes at Arsenal, oh, my days. I don't think they'd hear half of it because they know, like, yo, you can't be showing that. Club's moving mad behind closed doors. Uh, yeah, bruv, I agree. I agree. I'm nervous against Burnley. What does that tell us about where we're at? Curtis up front with Balogun. Oh, I reckon I got more than Eddie, you know. Give me a month to get fit. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you know Chris Wood's going to be a problem on them headers, on them corners being whipped in. Elbowing man in the face. And we've scored, but it doesn't count. Callum Chambers, that would have been nice, man. That would have been nice for Chambers to get the goal. Dundalk on the attack. How much should we pay for Madison? Madison? I do like Madison. I'd rather sign Grealish. Thing is, they would want 60, 70 million for Madison. I don't know if he's worth it. I do not know if he's worth it. Um, he's a very good player, though. Cedric can actually take throw-ins as well. That's it. You can take a throw-in at right back at Arsenal. You can get in the team. That's that's where our standards are at right now. Uh, Arsenal not looking good. Just a confidence thing. I think it's more than confidence, man. We this is way more than confidence. 
we actually not performing at all. Bro, well, man's even put the commentary on there. Man said, Chris Ward, he has done it. He has won Burnley the game. You can see it. You can see it. Hector Bellerin loses his man. Rob Holding standing there looking at him. And Ward with his big meathead heads it in. They, they, If they dare to lose that game, I'm telling you, it's all mad. Uh, Grealish is better. Yeah, Grealish is a baller and, you know, he likes it. He likes his sisters as well from the look of it. Um, Madison probably suits Arsenal more than Grealish Silky. I think with Madison, he plays more central. So, but yeah, I, I would be, I would still go for Grealish, man. I love Grealish. The guy's an absolute baller. How about Buendia, Kurtz? I like him, you know. I think these people we should look at ahead of Buendia. Um, but if we were to sign him in January, they're talking about 15 to 20 mil. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. You know, he gets on the ball, he makes things happen. Um, someone said there, Curtis, why do we keep playing? Willian and Jacko. Um, listen, it's the manager, isn't it? He loves them. He begged Jacko to stay, and um, he signed Willian on, on a on a ridiculous contract. So he's always gonna he's always gonna try and pick them two if he can. Unfortunately, I love Grealish. I think listen, I think Grealish is, I think he's England's maverick. I think he's that Paul Gascoigne, Joe Cole. He's that player. You've just got to let him play. Full-time whistle's gone. 4-2 victory. Doesn't sound convincing, i got to be honest. But it's a win. It's a win at the end of the day. Um, and said as easy as balling. Yeah, I see him playing little round the corners and everything. Um, and says, Curtis, quality content as always. Would you take Jack Wilshire back? I think we've got to move on from Jack Wilshire, man. I'd rather see a young player playing than him, you know. Uh, I believe he tried to come and train, but I think the club said no. Grealish is into his ebony, man. Yeah, man, he likes his sisters, you know. Who would you make man of the match tonight? I'm gassed. I want to give it to Balogun, but I don't know if I'm getting carried away. Um, I'd probably... I'll probably give it him. I don't care. I'm a Balogun fan. That that kid is a baller. Has to be involved against Burnley, man. Right, who who would your man of the match be? What did you make of the game? Yeah, I'm going, I don't care. Balogun man of the match, I don't care. He done more than all them other attackers, you know. Come on, gets a goal, gets an assist. 18 years of age. Did more in 30 minutes than any other attacking player did in the rest of the game. Man of the match, I don't care. Absolute brilliant player. Um, brilliant potential. Let me not get ahead of myself. I can't say brilliant player, but brilliant potential. And the club need to give him an opportunity to to use that potential, you know? Um, don't hold him back, you know? There's no way we should be promoting and Ketty are so heavy, but Balogun's getting held back. I'm not interested. He needs, he needs game time. He needs game time. I want him in the squad against Burnley. All right, maybe don't start him, but keep him on the bench as, as a secret weapon, you know? I like it. Do you know what it is? I like it when you unearth youngsters because... You can save yourself 20, 30 million in the transfer market if you find someone. If Balogun starts balling the rest of the season and you sell Lacazette or Eddie gets loaned out or you sell him, you don't need to go and buy an Edward or a, 
another striker. Maybe you want earth a striker. So listen, let the let let Bala gun, man. Let Bala gun. <laughs> you know, let the gun off. You know, good young talent needs a chance. Smith Rowe, well done tonight. Did decent as well. Aziz Cottrell came on. Aziz, like someone was saying, great little passes around the corner. I thought Ron Arson was a little shaky. I gotta be honest, man. If Leno gets injured, it's it's gonna be long. We can't afford him to be getting injured. Um we definitely need to keep him fit. Um for the rest of the season, I know, because I'm not convinced by this run arson one bit. Yeah, you know, it's what you get when you spend 1.5 million. I'm um, just seeing the goals back. I just, yeah, I love that finish. Nice little ball from Pepe. Just laid it. Even someone said there, the black boots, man means business. No, no flashy business. Just I'm here to put the work in, bro. You know? Omri little finish there. Give him his chance. Give him his chance can save yourself 20 or 30 million in the transfer market if this situation works. Keep him on the bench, keep bringing him on, bringing him on, and eventually you give him the start, you know? Yo, I'm telling you, Aziz definitely favours Stanley, you know, the dread man with the trim around the sides as well. Oh, dear. Right, everyone, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get going. Um... Balogun, man of the match for me. Big up all you guys for tuning in today. I'm absolutely shattered today, honestly. I can't even stay on for much longer. I'm going to go and get dinner. Big up everyone for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. You carry me through these Europa League games. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll do another live stream tomorrow. And uh, as I said, go and check out the live stream I did with Graham earlier. It was a fantastic one, a tactic show that we did. I am going to try and get him on on a regular basis as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Road to 20K. I'm hoping to hit that 20K by Christmas, man. You know, so uh, look out for that. Subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to um, download that one football app. Link is in the description below. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bless. Bless.